Jack, I heard you were back in town. You did? How? Your Instagram. Eddie, what's different about this place? Oh, that's right, customers. Dude, I raised the price of PBR by a dollar, and more of these kids came. Then I raised it to six dollars a can, and there's a line out the door. <laughs> How long are you in town for? I don't know. They're trying to keep me in the office. And I have to work for Brooke. Trust fall, Brooke? Mm hmm That means you slept with your boss. That's hot. And I should know. I'm my own boss. Thank you for that imagery. But I gotta get out of there. I just spent the last few hours faxing my resume everywhere. Faxing, huh? Your pager didn't blow up. Eddie, I don't need it from you. I've been getting it all day from these stupid 20-somethings. Hey, go back to your phones. <laughs> They're smarter than you think they are. They hustle and know how to make money, which is why I can charge $12 for ironic spam sandwiches. Eddie, are we old? No. You're younger than they make you feel. Look, <clears throat> if you really want to test how old and out of it you are, I found a test on BuzzFeed that can measure your age to almost a 90% certainty. Oh, like the replicant test in Blade Runner? Pencils down, you're old. Good morning, everyone. We need some digital tie-ins to your piece on the bears. Uh, so, well, Jack, why don't you start by inspiring us with your experience? Oh, all right. Well, um, Kodiak Island is the largest island off the coast of Alaska. Got it! Uh, Slideshow link. Five things to do if you're attacked by a bear. Oh, that's good, Jack. This is totally your thing. What do you think? Oh, well, obviously bear spray. No, there is no bear spray. The attack's already on. DiCaprio versus bear. <laughs> Jack, just name one thing to do if a bear attacks. Die. <laughs> you die. I've seen it. Maybe change the list to top one thing to do? Okay. <laughs> Guys, Roland wanted me to get you to write stories that inspire people. Now, I lived on Kodiak Island with bear cubs that were coming out of hibernation for the very first time. Very few people have ever seen this. I just found these bears playing in someone's swimming pool. That's pretty cool. not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a majestic species on the brink of extinction. You guys don't know what it's like to look at a creature that is the last of its kind. Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> OK, this was a really good meeting, guys. Thank you so much. You're all so confident. I mean, you, you went to good schools. You played on winning teams. We only won two games that year. You're holding a huge trophy. Uh, yeah, we got that because we all tried really hard. Yeah, well, so did the team that won. Trophies are for winners. Ew. Clark, what are you doing? Oh, I I'm, I'm listening. I'm just setting up for my podcast. You've got a podcast. About what? I interview people. And who are you interviewing today? Mason. What are you interviewing Mason about? His podcast? Sorry, stop this! Stop this right now! This is work! You guys always expect work to be fun! You can't just post animal videos and call it journalism! You can't take a word, remove some vowels, and think it's a great app. <laughs> and Clark, get a podcast when you have something to say. In fact, you should have the first silent podcast, because up to this point, you have said nothing that improves on silence. <laughs> That's a really good idea!